Well, we've waited five days for Maria Miller to go. The only people who didn't think she would go seemed to be her and the Prime Minister. And the fact that he hasn't sacked her and didn't sack her immediately after that abject apology that says rather a lot about the weakness of his leadership. Well, the only reason that she's gone is that David Cameron was panicking about what he'd be asked at Prime Minister's questions. And he's fearful of his own backbenchers, who virtually unanimously uh, are coming to him and saying, this is costing us votes, we're going to lose our seats. So this is, uh, this is to try and save parliamentary seats that she's gone, not on the issue that she should have been sacked on, which is the issue of principle, fiddling her expenses, but also the way in which she attempted to intimidate the media into not publishing the story about her, and perhaps even worse, the independent commissioner who was investigating her. It was quite unprecedented. But one thing David Cameron should do at 12 o'clock today at Prime Minister's Questions is he should announce that the system of self-regulation of MPs by MPs is immediately coming to an end because the other part of this scandal was the fact that a committee of MPs watered down the independent commissioner's report. That shouldn't have happened, it should never happen again, and he should establish that principle. The public wants to see it, I'd like to see it, and it is astonishing again that that wasn't done yesterday when I raised the issue in Parliament and we had a debate for an hour on it. We've not heard much at all from uh, Maria Miller. I was in Basingstoke last night. She's not been to Basingstoke for quite some time. I mean, my advice to her would be to get down to Basingstoke and beg the forgiveness of her constituents because they are amazingly angry. I mean, everyone's angry about this, but the, the, the vitriol against her in Basingstoke has to be heard to be believed. If I was her, I'd be straight on a train now, get into her constituency and working hard as a backbencher. Belatedly, the government now says it's going to be introducing a recall of MPs bill that of course won't become law till about a minute before the general election. So that saves Maria Miller yet again. You know, the Prime Minister seems to want to be bailing her out repeatedly. A good idea, a good amendment to that bill, I may well put one down myself, is to allow an immediate recall vote in Basingstoke. Let the people decide whether she should be an MP. That's the people's prerogative. But it's David Cameron who chooses who's in Cabinet. He failed to act. He should have sacked Maria Miller when she wrongly didn't resign. She should have been sacked instantly last week and it shouldn't have waited five days for it to go.